Oh, hi. Fancy meeting all of you here. FC Racers in a very rare weekday commentary. And we've got an action patch. Action patch. Action packed, excuse me. Match between Archie Gaming's own Crypto23 and Archie Gaming's own Archie Boy Triple Six. We got two of the same brethren going at each other. It's like a good old uh, FGC or Dota event, if you will. And with that, we got our cheat prevention in line, and we are ready to rock. Now, again, in case you've been following, Crypto 23 is running on Xbox One. So it has come to an agreement. And in fact, they typed it out in the chat here, so I'm going to do this just so that I am saying this very clear and correctly. So... Uh, Archie Boy Triple Six is not going to do the prologue skip, but everything else in the run, he's just going to go for it. So, uh, it's important to bring this up because I know that there was a gentleman's agreement between DeLuca and Crichter in their previous race where they were going to allow Crichter to do uh, the menu storage, which is still available uh, on Xbox One. So, we kind of come to this agreement where, you know, we kind of discuss these between the runners and which what they want to do and what they don't want to do. I'm seeing a lot of fantastic people in the chat. Let me just give a couple shouts to Super Snort, Aaron to you too, A Caroline W, and of course, Mr. Simply, the guy on the ones and twos this evening. And with that, we are going off into City. And you know, City's just a, a wonderful showcase of everything here. We've got showcasing all the tech here. Arch Archie Boy running so, not getting that wall bounce, but able to hit that back up. And they're not too, you know, they're not too far apart, but this is City. City is just like, whew. it's everybody knows how to run this, and it's just, you know, it's real hard to find an opportunity to um, save time here and there. We are seeing some different strats, though. We got Archie getting that corner boost, creature getting it as well. Seeing Crichter taking a little precaution there, not relying on that wall bounce, just making sure that he was able to grab that wall. But about a screen difference, we are seeing the timers are a little differentiated. Oh, taking that death on that spike. Not getting enough oomph. It's going to pull him back a little bit, but we got Archie Boy coming in at a 106, it looked like. And um, same with Crichter. Let's see, 106.1 to 106 point. I can't see that because the hundred seconds are very, very small. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I'm going to have to agree with you on that, Aaron, to you too. I think that this is probably going to be the, one of the, the closest matches that we do have um, because their times are very similar. Also, shout out to you for putting up everybody's PBs on the challenge side. I thought that was pretty dope. And also, you know, a little humbling because I was near the bottom. <laughs> a little hiss. But that's okay. That's all right. You know? Everybody that was in the tournament, myself included, had a fantastic outing and did really well. But we can only allow four. So one of the things, too, I know with Crichter is, um, especially like in our race, he had mentioned that he was really, really nervous. And it seems that he's kind of gotten over that as uh he's playing more races here so definitely looking to be informed same archie boy triple six oh as i say that in usual fashion missing that coin to got to do this room again they're gonna allow crichter to just sneak ahead ever so slightly let me see here we're gonna look to be about crichter with a two second lead as we head into the final screens of the battle and chase here Oh no, Crypto missing the coin! Gonna have the ooh, 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 ooh. Woo! Ooh, hold on. I'm gonna need a clip of that. We need a clip of that, because that was stupendous. How do you turn a tragedy into a heroic effort? Take notes, kids. But it is gonna allow uh, Archie Boy Triple Six to pull a little bit of a head here as he's getting ready to get into Awake. He's gonna jump into the Awake portion here at about 326. Crichter, again, not too far behind, but getting that corner bob there, it looks like he's going to lose about two, three seconds. So, we're having things going back and forth here. It's pretty nutty, buddy. Ask me. But, you know, awake opportunity to just get some movement here. 
And if it's really clean, we can keep it going here. All right, so we got Archie Boy Triple Six look like coming in at a 346. Critics are coming with some nice corner boosting there. He's going to come in at 350, so we're about a four second difference here as we move into Celestial Resort. Now, again, um, let me check my my the, the commentary one more time, or the, the chat one more time. Yeah, so uh, Archie Boy going for demo and all that stuff. So again, we're gonna see a little bit of a time differential here. So you get through this. Oh my gosh! Actually, <laughs> funny story uh, and a little bit of uh, taboo self promotion, if you want to call it, from the commentator. Um, I'm actually tired of seeing the stage right now because I'm working on creating a replica of the stage in Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been looking at this stage with a fine tooth and just combing through every little nuance over and over again, trying to get everything set up. And I'm already tired of it. <laughs> but it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be fun. So, but it's also a huge level. So it's gonna be broken up into different, uh, I think it's gonna try to do four different levels. But so far, so good. We got Archie Boy coming into the Huge Mess Labyrinth first here. Making some excellent movement here. So you get ready to talk to Oshiro. I'm going to get a time on Oshiro here at about 5.15. So now we got Krichter coming through. And again, it's just a few seconds behind here. Excellent movement there, about two seconds. So he's getting a little bit of time. We're running into the crates portion here. And this is where a lot of uh, mishaps have been happening in the second room. Archie Boy was able to get out. We got Creature coming up to bat now. Getting the jump and clearing that. Okay. So we have 537 here on Archie Boy's side. Crichter coming in at a 530. Oh, Crichter actually gaining some time here. About a second difference between both runners here as we head into books. We're going to look at the strats from each person. See what we've got going on here. Uh, Archie Boy going for that ultra strat. We're going to see if Krichter's just going to follow suit. Looks like he is. Nice movement there. So, you know, this is where there's opportunity to just catch up. We're seeing that Krichter got hung up on there, so he's missing that cycle. We're going to lose a little bit of time. But at the same time, it's just fantastic movement here. Yeah, so about a second. We were seeing that Archie Boy had some menuing issues going on. Trying to talk to Oshiro here. Off cycle two. Oh, and running into some trouble, taking a death. Oh, he's gonna do that room all over. He's gonna allow Krichter to come through if he can try to get this set up, taking it safe and simple. Oh, Ar Archie Boy taking a death in this room too. That little, that does money is problematic. Oh, and now we got Krichter too. Running into problems in this well, trying to get this as quick as possible. These dust miners are like, hold on, we want you to stay here forever. <laughs> All right, so we got Archie Boy coming through, picking up the key here and getting into the elevator shaft. Gonna look at it to be about seven minutes on his IGT. Krichter with actually a 655. So we're looking at about four to five second difference between the runners. This is already a bonkers race, y'all. This lead has been exchanging back and forth relentlessly like a tug of war. And we still have four full chapters to go. Well, we are going to see what well, we potentially could be seeing a difference here. Uh, again, Krichter does not have Demo Dash as he's playing on Xbox One. So he's going to have to go through the Quad Hyper Room. Archie Boy does have it, but he has to actually get it. Taking a death on the first attempt. Pressure's coming on, trying to get lined up here. He's wasting more time, are allowing Krichter to just minimize that time loss there, as you'll see as we get into this next room here. So we got Archie Boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Archie Boy taking a death on the last half of that room of light. Krichter to get ahead yet again. Absolutely nuts. Oh my gosh. And Krichter now in the lead. First into Ashiro. Just a few seconds here. Very interesting. Right. 
quickly now moving through. Now, this last room of Oshiro has been causing a lot of drama in these qualifiers. So, we're going to see if they're going to be clean. Arch is taking a death here in this one room with these nice springs. Archie, or excuse me, well, I guess Archie Gaming, Crick23, first into the final room of Oshiro, followed by Archie Boy, Trip 6. Critics are coming in, it looked like to be a 444, if I'm not mistaken. Overall, yeah, he's getting a nice lead here. Nice crouch there from Archie Boy, saving himself. But again, we have uh, we've seen chinks in the armor and dinks and damages as Crichter is now slightly pulling ahead as we head into Golden Ridge. Now, Crichter has been going for some new, a, a newish kind of tech in one of the um, wind rooms. I think it's the first room after, it's the first room of Old Trail, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna see if he's gonna go for that. Now, I'm also under the impression that since both of these guys are associated with Archie Gaming, we should be seeing an Archie in this run coming up oh no crits are slipping off the bubbles and dying that's gonna actually maybe give archie boy an opportunity to take the lead here all right setting up for archie here he's gonna get it crits are not too far behind so archie boy leaving that room at 929 so yeah that definitely carved in it'll look like 11 seconds here As we're moving through Shrine, I'm getting ready to go into Old Trail. Both runners getting that spike jump. And now they're heading on to the first auto scroller room. Archie Boy setting up for the Ultra Strat here. He's going to get it and get into Old Trail. Crichter not too far behind. All right, so now here's what I was talking about. Archie Boy is going up top. We're going to see if Crichter's going to follow suit or if he's going to go bottom. He's going bottom. And he messes it up. Oh no, he's got to do that over again. Taking the top route again. I'm not sure if that is yet viable in runs. I mean, I know it's possible to do. It just seems like it's a really, really hard trick to set up. And um, I see the time save that can come from it. But at the same time, it's just like, oh no. Deaths from both sides here. Unfortunately, creature's looking to be a little more punishing he has to start the screen all over again. And I, that might have put Archie Boy in the lead here. We'll see. Get in that nice coinless. Let's go. And taking top route here, too. Going to be in the room before Clip. Actually, I'll just do Clip Face as the time here. Is Crichter going for this trick, too? Are we about to see some shenanigans here? Yo, two for two. Excuse me. Hello. I'm shook. That is a very tough trick. And uh, it maybe messed up on getting the time point in the cliff face. Because <laughs> not only one, but two. Wow. All right, so we're in cliff face. It's very clean from both runners so far. Woo! All right, boy, triple six getting into this final room. Crichter missing the ultra there, but Archie clocking in with an IG of 11.42. So we had Crichter with a very nice lead, but unfortunately it looks like it's gotten carved into as we head into 5B here. Oh, this is about a couple second difference here. It could be, oh my gosh. <laughs> Both runners at 11.42 coming out of Golden Bridge, excuse me. I did not sign up for all this drama in Kalama. Oh my god, let's go! Tell your friends to come in. We got a hot one right now, folks. They're asking for a sync. The problem is, is that if we get a sync now, it's gonna desync. We won't do it now because we have the tape grab coming up. But I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk with my man's in the back and see if we can get a sync as we go into five B. Because that's gonna be very interesting. So we'll we'll do that and try to get us a better idea. I mean, I mean, these guys are at a deadlock right now. I haven't seen any deaths. I haven't seen any drama. We have a Miss Yeet here. Archie Boy, you're gonna try it again, missing it again, opting to not follow suit, but taking up some time there. Let's 
we'll see here as we get ready. Yeah, also that's true. Ideally, we go for a sink in summit. But I mean, so far, let's see if Kirk gets this yeet. Oh, he's gonna he's got a better time there, so I think Kirk is gonna pull out in front just a little bit. Let's see. Well, we got Archie Boy Triple Six coming in. It looks like it was take grab is gonna be about a 117. Some change. All right, 119. Uh, Crichter looking to be a little bit of ahead of that. Let's see. He's got to get this. He's got to get this cycle. He's going to get it. Saving us a few frames here. Oh, this is going to be really close. It looks like we are going to get a sync here. Oh, and also, because it's on Xbox One, he doesn't have the wraparound from the menu. So, he has to go down. Losing a little bit of time. And unfortunately, in this type of race, that is kind of... <laughs> you need those those do wops all right so here we go um popped into options real quick uh for some reason all right there is your sink and oh unfortunately <laughs> as soon as we get that archie boy trip six taking a death there but they're basically in the same room here's where it's going to come down to though we got bubs uh archie boy was mentioning not feeling confident with the bubs drop so we'll see. <gasps> All right, Krieger's gonna just move forward. Uh, they, they both are okay. This seems like the, this seems to be like the new hotness now. Everybody is just like, you know what? Screw the ten seconds, uh, and screw the restart and trying to do it. We're just like, just go, just go and finish the rest of it. So I wonder if that's a trend that's gonna carry over. I mean, we've seen, at least from an RTA standpoint, that it's about the same. But I think IGT is just a little faster. Ooh, okay, Archie boy, I see you. What was that? I need to steal that because I hate that section. And that wall bounce looked very nice and very potentially reliable. Oh my gosh, these two. Ooh. GSA deep dive. Uh, I hope you're watching because this, this is about to be uh, a race that we want to talk about. Oh no, Archie Boy on Death Cycle right now. Not sure how to. I don't know if he knows how to deal with this just yet, but that's gonna allow Creature to pull ahead. But Creature's got a very challenging room coming up. I want you guys to pay attention to Creature's screen real quick because you gotta look at these, uh, these narrow passageways that Creature has to deal with, and you're gonna see the difference between the two. Most notably, these that one right there, and then this one right there. Now. Oh my gosh, you're actually probably going to get a better view of this on each side. You're going to see the difference between console and um, PC. Like, just how narrow those are in comparison. And we are we are right back into it. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this, is what I'm, this is what I leave. leave. No, this is what I live and breathe for, folks. Yes, that was a juicy save. Oh, okay. I got scared. I thought he was going to fall his death. All right. So, Archie Boy first into Theo. We got the gauntlet coming up. And the gauntlet, what's going to be interesting when we get into Season 2, actually, is that I feel like the gauntlet is probably going to be the first thing that the qualifier runners are going to want to learn. Because I feel every single runner in Season 1 knows how to do this room as fast as possible and because of that there's going to be opportunities for them to gain time and you know cutting the leads and so forth so but we're seeing different strats oh no aren't you running into problems in the tape room allowing Krichter to catch up okay ah that's right Oh my god, I forgot. On console, the timer doesn't stop <laughs> until you like it kept going. But we're we are dead even right now. This is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping I'm Dave, I hope that you are able to catch this on your flight to uh ESA because this is absolutely nothing. I am Woo! Oh my gosh. 
Oh, are just taking a death here, but was able to get Lake Skip. Printer opting not to take it. And again, Lake Skip on console, you're looking at a pixel perfect jump. And uh pick a pixel perfect wall bounce to get there. Whereas on um PC we get three pixels of variance. Oh, okay, serious ain't serious, no one's talking. No, 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 no. Phone, calm down. <laughs> I don't know how they got hey Siri off of that, but whatever. No, I don't want to say I did it again. <laughs> Alright, so Archie Boy getting into Hollows, getting corner bop there, losing all that momentum. They able to bounce back. Alright, so now Archie Boy in Hollow. Oh no, having to get Kevin set up here again. Let's see gonna get in there to 1740 so it looks like archie boy now has just a little bit of a lead now a uh, few seconds here actually maybe a few more than that about a it looks to be about a 10 second lead but again we have a lot to go Lake Skip in my observation most failed trick in League last year. Uh, I will I will agree with you with that, but I also would give a run. Uh, I would give Yeet a run for that uh, number two. Because so I feel like Yeet is was missed a lot <laughs> by it. I don't think it was missed by every runner. I think someone might have pulled 100%, but there's a lot. In fact, I don't even know if we've seen a single Yeet in the, in the qualifier right now to be quite honest oh archie not just getting ahead of himself there taking that bottom route too again so we're starting to see that we're starting to see the divide happening now um but we'll see oh archie getting some corner bops there and just losing momentum but was able to snap out of that muscle memory and not take a death but now both or we have Archie Boy in Ravine, opting to play it safe, take the shortcut. I respect that play, especially in this type of situation. You do not want to take a death there, because that would have been, definitely been a lead loss. All right, so we got Archie Boy coming in to the battle and fight here. I'm gonna say 1928. <laughs> so again, he has a nice lead right now. Uh, Crypter looking to be about, I'm going to say, 15 seconds behind. And again, the way that this works is winner is moving into the league. This is playing for the league spot. We have four spots. Um, I know, I think, I believe Odyssey had five. So for that, what they're doing is, um, oh, playing it, oh, yeah, I forgot. Crypter looked like playing it safe there. Maybe a little too safe. Didn't want to crash this game. But that's okay. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, so I believe it was, I think it's Super Mario Odyssey has five spots available for the uh, Season 2 League. So what they did is that they took all the runners from Season 2 for the in the bracket. Everyone that wins gets a spot. And then the final four, or the four that did not win will be placed in a four-player heads-up race. Oh my gosh! Archie Boy with the corner bops, Bob City again. It's gonna allow, it's gonna allow Cricket to get in there. But yeah, um, at the end of it is gonna be a four way heads up race uh, with the winner taking that final spot. Um, so. Aaron to you too, from what I understand, I believe all eight are coming back from uh for season two. So all eight, all the top eight. Oh no, Crick are running into some problems here on this feather portion. But I believe for Celeste, all eight runners that were in the top eight will be coming back. The, the exception was uh Nero. Nero decided to uh not return. Um but again, he wasn't able to make it out to pace, so I think that might have had something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure. But, um... Oh, see? I mean, to be fair, uh, I'm just kind of going off of what I've asked 
amongst the GSA people. So, and like I said, it's the, the, the top four uh, will be making it in. So basically, whoever wins, if you win your race here in the bracket, then you'll be making it into the league. So, <clears throat> anything that has changed since then is possible. I mean, like, I only know, like, the as far as I know, the top four runners from season one uh, are coming back. For season two, like I know that guaranteed. Uh, so Teach, Chai, Flidervy, and M Sushi. Like I know that uh, Chai and M Sushi, they've been starting to do to get their warm ups going. Uh, Flidervy has as well. Um, I know that Teach is not. Uh, he's currently doing working on his um his all chapters run because he's running that at ESA. I think it's all chapters. Yeah, I think it's all chapters. So. Hasn't came back to uh, any percent just yet, but you know, there's still some time. All right, so we got Archie Boy Triple Six coming in at 2227, and we got Creature just clocking in at a 2227 as he talked to Battle So it looks, yeah, I'm gonna say it looks to be about a 25 second lead. Let's see, 27, uh, Creature should be finishing up at 2249. So, 22 seconds, but I already saw Archie Boy take some deaths. So, I mean, if we're looking at the, the span of Summit and opportunities for Crichter to come through, first of all, Crichter needs to play absolutely solid. Um, I'm seeing just some mishaps here on Archie Boy's stream, like, or he didn't get the ultra there. Uh, there's a few deaths here and there. Uh, actually, now Crichter taking deaths in this opening screen, too. I'm not sure if nerves are playing in or if he's trying to do in crazy strats like that um but we're definitely gonna watch 1500 1500 uh i'm gonna even call 1000 and see how well the uh the hypers coming out of dream blocks are going and then 2000 as well i feel like i feel like uh Krypton needs to pull off every trick that he can and he needs to get it right first try every time and just try to have overall better movement than archie boy but like I said, Archie Boy already with a, a nice leak here. About 22 seconds coming into chapter seven, but I might even gone further than that. I mean, it's apparent here, we're seeing, you know, Crypture jumping into 500, Archie Boy coming into exiting 500. So you keep moving forward here. Oh, actually, uh, let me go tap Mr. Simply to see if we can get this uh, one final sync to get a better idea here on where everybody is at. Putting in a really close race, just a few seconds apart. Creature with a nice strat there. And then uh, dashing again, not even offering the bunny hop there. That is something that I have problems with. I have to rely on the bunny hop and I feel like I lose his speed for that. Nice movement there, not relying on that wall bounce. Just like, no, I'm gonna just scoot up on this thing real quick. But again, we got coming into 1,000, and then you have Archie Boy at the very end of the section. So again, 1,500, we're gonna, that's one you wanna look for. We got some very punishing rooms. Take this room here. Nice setup there from Crichter. Originally seen that from Black Pair. Might've been came from Crichter too, I don't know, but I first saw it from Black Pair. I actually love that strat. And we're seeing Archie taking a few deaths here. Coming into this first long room, he's going to be, he's got to keep this clean. So far, so good. All right, he's out. And again, that's going to put pressure on Crichter here. So now we're in the ultra room. So far, so good. Oh, pausing. Okay, able to get out. A little, a little dicey. Got a little scared there, but that's okay. But now we've seen Crichter jumping in 1500. This is ridiculously close. I feel like this might come down to 3,000. But we'll see. Oh no, Crichter taking a death in this long room. This is what I was talking about. Like, I, you can get corner bopped right there, even though there's no corner. And I do not understand how that works. In fact, I should probably like try to make a plea to, to Matt and Noel and be like, can you guys investigate why 
you can get corner pop in that section of 1500 even though you're not near a corner i think it has to do with the the tendrils uh before they turn into dust bunnies all right archie boy coming into the bound under the train but saying not today he's gonna do it tried and true he's gonna get that he's gonna get the traditional auto scroll skip We'll see what uh, Krikter has in store here. Making his way through. Getting the climb. I'll get a timestamp too. But uh, actually, uh, Earth to simply, if we can get a sync as we get closer to 3000, it would be most appreciated. We got Krikter going for bounding under the terrain. Oh, he's gonna get it. All right, so we're gonna get the sink now, which is perfectly fine. And again, Krikter opting to take the safer route here. All right, so looking at the times here, we got Archie Boy getting into 2500 as. Krikter's about two screens away. These are kind of long. He's going to play this one sharp. So far, so good. And actually, Archie Boy taking a death early on. Going for the fast strats, playing it safe second time around. But again, these little, these little in are just going to allow Krikter to catch up. Especially if we got this room coming up on Archie Boy's side. Oh, just like I said, night, the pro yeah, oh. You have to take this one slow. The, the death, like it's the death cycle for that is practically non-existent, and that's going to oh, oh my gosh, it's going to allow Krikter to really get caught up here. Like that is a huge opportunity, especially if Krikter can nail this room, and he does. So just carving into that lead, it's looking about a screen and a half. We got um, Thread the Needle here. And then Archie actually opting to not go for that. And we got Door Skip Uno, Door Skip Idos. Now this final long room. This, this room actually has been um, causing a lot of problems in League 2. <clears throat> Krikter threading the needle just fine. Ooh, kind of low for that Door Skip. Remember, Krikter does not have a demo to Door Skip a little easier. But it's clear too, and we have Archie Boy coming in first. Landing on flag number 30 here at a 28.39. This is a very good time for him, I think. Possibly looking to maybe get a 31 out of this. Maybe a 30. We'll have to wait and see. But Krikter, not about two flags behind as we get ready for the final ascent. Oh, Flavor is not in it either? Huh. So that means it would be what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'll talk about that after the race. So we, we need to talk about this. We don't need to be talking about that right now. As I'm saying that, Krikter running into some deaths here. But also, uh, Archie Witch is having some movement issues here coming into the last end of Downdraft. Now, Archie, you can just have some problems here on a couple of these flags. He's got to clean this up if he's going to want to have a chance to get back into this game. Now, uh, Archie Boy on 19. Oh, again. So, yeah, it's like a two... It was a two-flag difference between the runners. Archie playing it a little safer this time. Getting ready to get into that updraft. But now Ar Archie coming into uh, the two most notorious flags, 14 and 13. I think Archie knows. I think he's he's aware of the, the pressure. Because I'm seeing a lot more aggressive play coming from um, Krikter's side. That's the Archie. I'm at Krikter. I'm sorry. They both got AG as their uh, sponsor. So I'm getting confused. Sorry. So Archie Boy now on flag number 10, opting to take it. We got Krikter coming into flag number 13 here. Flag number nine, causing drama, but not today.
this is ridiculously close. This might be the closest, one of the closest races that we've had in the qualifier. Is uh, Archie Boy Triple Six now getting into flag number five here? Archie or Crichter coming out of flag number ten. I think the damage has been done. I mean, oh, especially with that death there too. I mean, Archie Boy has to he has to really bop this one to to not take this one home. Unfortunately, getting close, to jumping into flag number two right now. As we get Crichter on flag number six. So, I mean, yeah, this... Barring some awful movement here in flag number one or a retry at the summit, our new member joining season two is going to be Archie Boy Triple Six. Congratulations! What, they 31-31. Okay. And so Flavor is in season two. Alright, Krieger not far behind here. Looking to be possibly a 30 a low 32. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a 3202, actually. But amazing movement as he gets up to the, the last bits here. Okay, 32 flat. Yeah, 32 flat. So 29 second difference. Fantastic. Effort from both runners. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get them in for an interview. Or not, we'll see. Whew. Nutty race. Absolutely nutty. So we'll, we'll see if we can get some... Uh, anybody up for interview or not. In the meantime... You know, since we're getting into it, let's go ahead and talk about who's going to be in season one or from season one everybody so all right we got archie boy triple Whoa. six ggs on a very very close race how are you feeling i felt pretty good about that run um the resort went absolutely awful and i was like all right <laughs> i need to play better yeah and i think after that point was i started playing pretty well like my resort or not resort my ridge was pretty solid um Temple sucked, but I suck at Temple. And Reflection Summit were pretty good overall. Like, going into 2500, I think I was on my best pace summit in a run ever. Oh, and nice. Then, and then I got trolled in 25, um, in like the first two screens, and I was like, all right, cool. This is still oh, a yeah. decent summit, though. Yeah, I did, I, did, I did see that. I mean, yeah, uh, things were looking a little bit rough in the beginning, as you mentioned with the resort. Um, yeah. I mean, overall, this race is really, really close. So, I mean, things didn't really start breaking out until got, we got out of Boy reflection. Mm -hmm. And then just from GG's that point moving on. forward. I mean, it's 29 second difference between you and Krichter, uh at the final. But, I mean, I think leaving Ridge, you guys were only frames apart yeah. from each other. It was absolutely nuts. And just a great outing overall between the both of you. Um, it looks like we have Crichter in the call as well. GG's to you. GG, Fish. Yeah, GG. Congrats. Um, what time was your resort? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Like 44 minutes and 44 seconds. Yeah, yeah. He, had a, he had a 444. Yeah, I had a, I had a 506. So I, it was memes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels bad to... Like, yeah, you're on console too, so you couldn't demo. So that's a 444 no demo, so... I don't know. My reach was pretty bad. And my reach? My yeah, my 5B was pretty atrocious. Did you get buffs drop? No, I did not. I was like 8 frames late. I was not even close. Yeah, me neither. I just went for the key. Yes, yeah, and Now that is, really, I want to talk to both of you about that because one of the hot things that we've seen uh, in the qualifier is we see people just going and getting the key and not even bothering trying to redo bugs drop um do you guys feel that that is in a sense a more reliable backup than just you know hitting return to map and trying again and hoping that you don't miss that trick again and lose another 10 seconds well personally like missing bugs drop is really tilting so like if i can just grab the key and be guaranteed like x amount of time loss rather than just trying for it until i get it because i remember watching like Bugs drop is just one of those tricks that like you mess it up once 
and then you return to Matt, and you just have time to think, and you just sit there thinking about your life hole, and it's like, well, this sucks, I just missed this trick, I really need to get this next time, or else I'm gonna lose even more time. And I remember watching, like, the live uh, pace, and watching people fail bumps drop there, like, I think it was maybe Flat or something, who, like, would miss it ten times in a row sometimes, and it's just, like, really heartbreaking, because I, I, I felt that too, like, you miss bumps drop, and it's just like, oh, oh god. Yeah. So just being able to like guarantee that I get through the screen, it just it feels better to me personally. Okay, that's a very interesting take, and um, I'm actually excited to see how that's going to work out as we move too. And with that being said, too, uh, Archie Boy, congratulations as you are moving on to the actual season. Uh, how do you feel about? You know, we have uh eight returning players from season one. I mean, we got like TGH, we got Chai Kitty, Flo Derby. Uh, M Sushi, Black Pear, I believe Moose, Scrub Lord, and Flare Bear, I think is rounding yeah. that out. It's so gonna be that... tough. I'm gonna have to practice a lot, but I'm getting there almost. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, looking back at the beginning of season one, I think we had two people at that time that were at sub 29. Mm -hmm. was the big deal and then i mean you look now yeah um you have like four runners at sub all um, very interesting two runners at sub 28 i'm actually on the cusp of sub 28 uh and then a lot more that are actually like sub 29 and then we have like a whole bunch that are already at sub 30 so yeah. i mean like just the progression of the game has just been maddening and um, yeah my I, I just really need to work on consistency like my pv i feel like is not very good for me right now like Realistically, a pretty solid run would be like a low 29 for me. Like, my sum of best is a 28. Oh, wow. So, yeah, my sum of best is like almost two minutes better than my PB. So, oh. I haven't really been grinding. I've been playing Minecraft a lot because I'm an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> that, hey, but, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been meaning to get back to it. I definitely need to get sub 30, and I think this will be really motivating to work towards that. Because it is kind of painful sometimes to just grind out runs for that doesn't die to demo dash or bumps drop, and then you have to not choke end game. It's just hard. Oh yeah, I definitely have been there. And then um also for for Crypter two, you know, amazing run, um very close Thanks. to making it into the league. Um, I'm curious to see if you do you plan on continuing to improve, um and continue to play Celeste in pre in preparation for a possible season three opportunity. Or uh, what are or what are your game plans? Uh, well, first I want to get sub thirty and any percent. Get that okay. sub thirty on console. Uh, oh, I don't think. Of... But after that, I want to play A or B. Oh, okay. To get, uh, Fifty-five or something. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, sweet. Um. I don't have anything else, so if you guys want to, if you have any shout outs or anything, feel free to let them uh, say your piece here. And if not, then we'll start getting ready to close up for a, uh, a little intermission. We got some more racing coming later tonight. So, what match is we got tonight? Um, so, let me pop the schedule real quick. I know that we have uh, another Celeste match at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I think that's the Luque. Oh, uh, Dolphin Frog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's at six thirty. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll watch yeah. that for sure. So six thirty. Uh, or I'm sorry, nine thirty. This uh, Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, it was in my own time zone. Uh, and then we have Vadronis versus Saxtel in a seventy star matchup at ten fifteen Eastern Standard Time. So those are the last two of the evening. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'll actually be on comms for the six thirty match too. So. If you aren't tired of my voice now, you might be at the end of the day. We'll see. Hey, you like a break. It's fine. <laughs> get a little rest, drink some water, get myself, you know, hot up, continue to make my Super Mario Maker 2 levels, and <laughs> just be about that. All right. Well, um, I guess I'm with sure. that, I'll go into closing unless you guys have anything else you would like to add to uh, the interview. I don't have much. Thanks, Crichter, for playing again. Thanks, FC, commentating and simply for restreaming. Uh, Shouts to Archie, of course. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shouts, <laughs> shout out to Archie. Yeah. 
He turned two yesterday. Yeah, it was his birthday. I saw that. I saw that. It was, just, it was Archie's birthday. So happy birthday, happy belated birthday to Archie. And then again, GG's to both you guys. Again, everybody tuning in. I mean, you know, follow these guys on Twitch. Their handles are right there, I think. Is that yours, Archie boy? Uh, Fish and Muffins is my Twitch. Okay. So I'll just throw that out in chat, I guess, if people. I was going to open the stream to see chat, but my Chrome is just refusing to do anything right now. So uh. I'm clicking it and it's like, no. <laughs> But yeah, um, you know, give these guys a follow. Fantastic Runners. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing uh, what they have to offer as we move into and also. And um, again, if you missed it, we got the YouTube channels. Be sure to uh, drop a subscribe over there. You can catch all of the tournament action on the GSA tournament channel. And then we have the second one, which is going to have like the deep dive and uh, all the pace showcase submission runs are there too. I'm pretty sure we're going to see something about this race because this was a fantastic outing. And if you have not, or you know, if you missed it, tune into that YouTube channel. It'll be coming up soon. Uh, we got some sick merch as well. Throw that in the chat right now. Uh, I have, like, actually, I have the Pace coffee mug, and it's actually fantastic. I use it at work all the time. <laughs> uh, and just some other stuff like hoodies and T-shirts and fanny packs and whatnot. And uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and sign off again. I will be back at 30 p.m. Eastern. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, I will be back at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but if you're a West Coaster like myself that is going to be a 6.30 nope, yes you know what, let's just cut I'm messing this up <laughs>